Hey guys, it's Ixalan, and this match is going to be with Big Tony from the Quid Chat. I got on and asked for a roulette battle, and this is what we came up with. You can see the team here, kinda random. That Jirachi is from my OU team. The Glurk has the no guard ability. Um, and I don't. I thought his Espeon had the magic guard, but I'm pretty sure you'll see that it has synchronized at the end. So yeah, alright, let's get into it. Now, I have the slight advantage to start off with because I get to lead with an actual lead Pokemon. This is an old lead Skarmory versus his Hitmonlee. And I think my team is slightly better overall, so I have a little advantage there. But anyways, uh, I go for the Stealth Rocks the first turn because I wasn't sure if he'd fake out or not. And I didn't protect, which probably would have been the smarter play. So he gets the uh, fake out out and then switches when I actually go for the protect, predicting a high jump kick. So I'm already off to kind of a crappy start. And I go into my Snorlax on the predicted flamethrower, but he Thunderbolts, which is, again, a smarter play since I have Thick Fat. Does a little bit more damage. And he goes for the Focus Blast, while I go for the Yawn, because I know I can take at least one of those. Um, and I don't I don't really, like, I'm pretty sure since the first one misses, the second one's going to hit, because that's just how my luck usually works. So I go into Celebi to take the Focus Blast, and I take it pretty well. Uh, does basically nothing. And he's going to go to sleep now, so now that Magmortar's asleep, I'm fairly certain he's going to switch. So I'm just going to take this opportunity to set up my Leech Seed on whatever comes in. And it's Hitmonchan. And I'm like, okay, Leech Seed, Hitmonchan, they don't usually have very much defense, but they do have a pretty good offense, and I don't really want to take that Ice Punch. So I'm going to switch out my Stewie Griffin here, since uh, Steel's going to resist the Ice. And he does go for the Ice Punch, so that does basically nothing. Um, I'm going to go for the Body Slam here because I know that I can take at least one Drain Punch or Close Combat if he's not actually choiced in some way, and it turns out that he's not. Um, I get the Crit and the Paralysis on the first turn, which is a little haxy, but he's not, um, he doesn't get the para haxy. he actually gets the Close Combat off. But it doesn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. I thought it'd do, you know, a, about half, maybe a little over. It does maybe, uh, maybe 40%, if that, not even. Um, so I just U-turn because I know that's going to finish him off because he has no defense. And it crits, but I'm pretty sure that would have killed him anyways. So now it's, uh, now he's going to have switch advantage. I'm just going to go back out to my lead, Skarmory. And he's going to go out to Espeon. With the name Bouncer, I'm like, he probably has Magic Guard. But I'm not going to, like, I, he could be bluffing. So I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rocks. So worst case scenario, I'll bring them in some other time. Um, and of course he doesn't. He was bluffing on it. That worked out really well for me. So probably my one good play of the day. And I'm just going to start roaring his things out. And when I get him out of the Heracross, I was thinking, well, maybe since I just roared, he'll think I'll roar again, and we'll leave Heracross in. But he doesn't. He switches out into Vaporeon again, so I go for the Brave Bird. It was a really good prediction on his part. Um, definitely didn't help me at all. I'm like, Skarmory, you piece of shit. All right. Um, let's figure out what I can do here. I'm going to roar him. He's going to heal Bell, so his Magmortar's awake. And I'm like... Oh, that's an interesting Vaporeon. I haven't seen those before. So he comes back out into Hitmonlee, and I'm predicting the fake out this time, so I do go for the protect, and he just goes straight for the high jump kick, and that does a really good amount of damage on his Hitmonlee, and I'm like, yes! And I thought about going for the double predict, or the double protect, but I didn't, and he just goes for the high jump kick and finishes me off. So it's just probably the better play. I'm thinking maybe this Hitmonlee is Scarfed, I'm not 100% sure um, at this point, so I just go out into, uh, into my Gyarados, to Dragon Dance, because I figured I could take a high jump kick easily, but he's not Scarfed or Choice in any way, and he goes for the Stone Edge, and doesn't quite kill, but it does a ridiculous amount of damage, so I'm like, okay, I'm definitely faster, I'm just gonna Waterfall him. But he predicts that, goes out to his Vaporeon, gets the Water Absorb, and that was a really good prediction on his part, I'm like, damn it, son of a bitch. Okay, uh, time to use Stone Edge here, or, um, no, I don't think that'll kill, so I guess I'll Dragon Tail? And he goes for the Wish, and I do Dragon Tail, and the Dragon Tail mount to Heracross, and I'm like, okay, maybe I can kill him with a Stone Edge, if not, I should probably Dragon Dance up. So, I decide to Stone Edge to see what it does, and it almost kills, um, but not quite, and he gets his Wish up, and it doesn't bring him as high as he was, so I'm like, okay, if that was, you know, low to mid range, a second Stone Edge might kill him, but I get, like, mid damage on the second Stone Edge, and it does nothing. Or, well, does, you know, brings him down less than it did the first time. So he gets his stone edge the second time and kills me, and I'm like, okay, time to bring in Go Lurk. 
And I'm just going to go for the safe Earthquake, because I know that's going to kill something. And he switches out into Hitmonlee as fodder, and I Earthquake that thing. And now he's going to safely bring in his Vaporeon, and I'm like, okay, I can take one Surf, so I'm going to Dynamic Punch, because Confusion will hopefully help me out here. Now I take that Surf pretty well for a, uh, a Golurk that's incredibly weak to it, and I get the Dynamic Punch, which doesn't do nearly as much as it should, and I'm like, fuck. Okay. Um, at least he's, at least he's confused. Maybe maybe he'll punch himself this turn. Of course he doesn't. Um, Hax is Hax was on my side a little earlier. Now it's not. You know, it's the way the game works. He gets a surf off, kills him. This Vaporeon's getting its health back. And I'm like, okay, I gotta I gotta be able to do that. So I'm just gonna body slam him. And now Hax returns the favor. I he gets the paralyze um, and the para Hax on the first turn, which I guess is okay. Like I would have preferred the uh, confusion because then he probably would have killed himself. But a second body slam will take out this Vaporeon, and that works out pretty well. So that was, in my opinion, the biggest threat on his team, just because it was a big wall that would keep him alive for long. And he baits me into a U-turn, which I just make the safe play and go for the U-turn as he double switches into Magmortar, and that does, like, nothing, but it does give me slight switch advantage, and I can bring Snorlax back in safely. And uh, I know the Focus Blast is probably coming, but he decides to switch instead to his Heracross, and I'm just gonna go for the Body Slam, so I guess he foddered out his Heracross, I'm not entirely sure what his plan is, I guess he wanted to see what I was gonna do, but he's gonna bring back in his Magmortar, and after three entrances in the rocks, he's just so low that a Body Slam will kill him, and his Focus Blast misses, it wouldn't have killed me anyways unless it had critted, so whatever. And now he's going to bring in his uh, Espeon and go for the Psychic. And I have a lot of defense, uh, special defense investments, so that's not going to do anything. And I know Crunch is easily going to KO him. So yeah, that was a good game. I hope you guys liked it. Um, roulette battles are really fun. I love them. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.